Hello, this is Dr. Alwa Math, and in this video we'll be talking about treatment of foot drop. A foot drop is a situation where there is an injury to the peroneal nerve, which is a branch of the sciatic nerve, and in that case the patient has difficulty lifting the ankle upwards, upwards towards the ceiling, and also in many cases the inability to rotate outward away from the body. So the peroneal nerve can be stretched or compressed, in which case we can try to remove the scarring that occurs in that situation. The nerve is still partly connected to the muscles and therefore we can try and get function by a simple removal of the scar tissue from the outside and the inside of that nerve. In the situation where the perineal nerve uh, directly or from injury higher up uh, in such situations as a lumbar disc, that's a disc in the lower back, or a hip replacement, or sometimes a direct injury directly at the level of the knee, in those cases where the nerve is completely injured, we'll do what's called a nerve transfer. In patients who can't lift upward, they typically have the ability retained to push downward and to push inward. That nerve is called the tibial nerve, and the tibial nerve is usually working quite well uh, in situations where the perineal nerve isn't. And what we can do there is, if this is the tibial nerve, it has function. Here's the perineal nerve with no function. We can create a bridge between the two so that we can take some of the strength from the tibial nerve flowing down into the perineal nerve and hopefully restore function uh, for the ankle to move upward and outward. Now, of course, we're not taking too much away from the tibial nerve. We're just taking a part of it so that we shouldn't have any functional loss in the tibial nerve. So that's management of foot drop injuries through neurolysis or scar removal and nerve transfer in cases where the perineal nerve is completely injured.